they're ready. Good morning, everybody. How many of you have heard of the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's? Mm -hmm. Or the movie Roman Holiday? These are just a few of the classic movies played by the most famous actress of the 1940s, Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn is one of the most inspirational people in my life because of all the things that she's done in her career. At the end of my speech, I hope everyone will love and admire her as much as I always have growing up. I've always admired Audrey because of her entertainment career, her philanthropy, and her struggles as a young child that she went through in order to have the career that she did. In her iconic career, she did things such as classic movies and became one of the world's most style icons and was known for her grace and elegance because she liked to dress very modestly and she didn't like to show a lot of skin, but she was still considered very beautiful. She was often compared to Marilyn Monroe, said by Paris Berry, the author of the novel Elegant Spirit. One thing people don't know about Audrey Hepburn is that she was a model before she was an actress. This is because she needed to make money in order to stay in America because she wasn't from there. In the middle of her life, she became known for her philanthropy, and she found fulfillment in all the humanitarian work that she did. She became one of the chosen <coughs> spokespersons in 1988 for the United Nations Children's Fund. This is because she did several charity organizations with kids with cancer, kids who were in need of food, and in need of clothes. One of her most famous quotes for her humanitarianism is, helping people is the most rewarding process of my life. This was always so inspiring to me because growing up, I always got to do charity work because I did different organizations and pageants and clubs in school, and I always loved it, so it made me love her even more. She became an advocate for the government, and she would speak on the charities that she worked with because she didn't like just working behind the scenes. She wanted everyone to know how important her charity work was to her and how that everyone can make a difference no matter where you originally came from. One thing that people also don't know about her is that she was not born an American. Audrey Hepburn was born in Belgium during the year of the Great Depression, which is one of the reasons why she had so many childhood struggles. When she was young, her parents divorced, so she never had a full household family, and she had to go back and forth between her mom and her dad. Being born during the war, she would run out of food supply with her and her family, which led to malnutrition, anemia, and respiratory problems as a child. Thankfully, when she came to America and she developed her career, she did not struggle with any more health problems, which is why she wanted to help others with her philanthropy. She didn't have any more health problems until the year 1960 when she was diagnosed with appendix cancer. She had many appendix surgeries in order to get rid of the cancer, but it just wouldn't go away. Audrey Hepburn sadly died at age 63 due to her health problems, according to the article, Life of Audrey by Alan Werner. To sum everything up that I've talked about, Audrey Hepburn is one of the most inspirational people in my life and one of the most inspirational women of the 1940s. She will remain in the media's eyes and hearts forever because of everything that she accomplished during her lifetime. One memorable quote by Audrey Hepburn that I will always live by is, anything is possible when the word itself says I'm possible. This speaks to me because it can build everyone's confidence up because you can believe that anything you want to believe you can achieve. So thank you guys so much for listening to me today and I hope you learned a lot about Audrey Hepburn.